see Naruto. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo set to call all the action here at the Wells Fargo Championship. We are at Quail Hollow, and Frank, it is really one of the best courses on tour. It is a uh, great state of North Carolina where Donna Ross um, <laughs> developed so many great courses. They're the sort of courses that we're used to seeing, but this is a relatively new golf course. First opened up in 1961, but it certainly fits in with the North Carolina uh, landscape. Um, mature trees, holes well cut out, Beautiful greens and uh, interesting finish. How do you like that finishing stretch? They call it the Green Mile. Uh, some might think it's purgatory, but uh, I think it's the perfect touch to a great golf course. Oh, if this is up, it's good. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. That's an absolute beauty. Frank, can one small tweak from an instructor lead to a big turnaround? With the right player, yeah. You, you just want to hear the right message. It's, it's like anyone in life. You just want to be pointed in the right direction. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. A birdie will send him to one under on the leaderboard. Frank, a nice mix of opening holes here at Quail Hollow in the Wells Fargo Championship. Pretty short par three here at the second. 180 yard shot uh, will play more like 175 for the half a club downhill. There's much more green on that right side. If you're not too sure what club to hit, then uh, you should uh, stay away from that left side. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Frank, here at the third, players facing a challenging tee shot. Uh, for a number of reasons, Rich. One, that the hole bends to the left. Uh, two, that the fairway starts to run out. And three, the length of the second shot. Um, you get rewarded the better you hit your tee shot down here.
Well, this is the kind of wind that separates the great players from the average players. You really have to be strong to handle these kinds of winds. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, we remember what Rory McIlroy did here in 2010, his first PGA Tour victory, a 62 in the final round. It was also the first victory for Ricky Fowler. Yeah, and oddly enough, it was in a playoff. And in that playoff, Ricky just pulled out a driver and smashed it down there, then hit a sand iron to that front left flag, uh, basically the gimme distance. Not only did he win in the playoff, but he beat Rory McIlroy, the then world number one in DA points. And that was the same Ricky Fowler that, remember, in the playoff in 2015 for the Players' Championship, drove the ball in equally daunting fashion um, over those uh, three playoff holes at TPC Sawgrass. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. It's no snack, though. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Minus one, in early going. Back over now to the fourth. Early in the round, still holding steady, even par on the day. Yeah, it's got that feel it could go either way here. Next few holes will probably tell us which way. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Frank, what are we looking at here on the second shot to the fourth? Another green with three different levels. Uh, this time, though, the green runs away a lot from the right towards the left. You cannot afford to miss the green on the right. There's a big green and they're gonna use every inch of it. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Has this putt for birdie. Once considered the best player at the college level, our featured golfer makes birdie sitting comfortably inside the cut line. Frank, in today's modern game where players are hitting it so far, I always feel like one of the more exciting holes is a reachable par five. And here we are at the fifth, 570 yards. Yeah, this is reachable providing you hit a good drive. Otherwise, it becomes very awkward on the layup. Um, you're sort of often threading the ball out of trees and just trying to find some sort of third shot. Uh, so to your point, big advantage with a good tee shot here. Hmm, what a drive. Just tattooed that. Second shot to the par five fifth here at Quail Hollow. Frank, a chance to get to the green in two. Rich, it's well protected by those two front bunkers. Neither one are really that bad. Um, and there's a few little humps and hollows on this green, but if you can actually keep it on the putting surface, that's extremely good. But nothing wrong with being in one of those two front bunkers. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's gonna fly all the way. That was just a gutsy shot right there, and a good look at Eagle coming up. It's that sneaky distance. Well, we'll never know if that had gone in, because it never made it. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business.
Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but that is going to hurt the course. Holding steady now at two under par. Frank, this is where you know that players like Bubba Watson, Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy are playing a different game than guys like me. They step up to this 250-yard par three, and they might hit a five iron. It is a little downhill, but, but they might be with a middle iron where a lot of us would be with a driver. Well, you see the advantage of that power um, on, on this very hole, not just because of the length they've got to hit it, but the green they're heading into. This green slopes off in both directions, right and left, so you have to land that ball in the middle of the green. So, yeah, it's a big advantage if you can go at this hole with, like, a five iron. Seems to like it. All right, hold on. For the green. It's in! Let's it is. It is, Frank. Can you Let's believe go. it? Wow. I am amazing. And that's perfect enough for my man. That's perfect well, Frank, enough for my man. Eagle is in play here at the par 5 7. And a 6, and a 7, and an 8, or a 9, actually. This is a potential scorecard record, the seventh hole. Uh, many a tee shot has found uh, that creek on the right, trees, uh, problems on the left. There's no question there's a reward for a good tee shot here. Uh, but then there's a decision on do you go for this par five and two. It's not overly long, just over 530 yards. It is very tempting. Can't ask for much more here at the seventh. He has hit a good one. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow, and uh, golf like this looks easy. This one looks right on point. We just saw a player in total control of what he's doing. Didn't miss a green in regulation all day long. Frank, how rare would this be if this putt drops? Well, that may have gotten the leader's attention. Into the top ten with an eagle. They had to have heard that roar. Frank, in modern professional golf, we're seeing more and more drivable par fours, like the eighth here at Quail Hollow, 350 yards. What do you think of this hole? It's not a bad hole. Uh, drivable, some might say, but the angle of the green means it's hard for that tee shot to keep on the green. But the, I think the reward for hitting a driver is try and sort of aim at that tree just left of the green. And the reason why is then you've got to pitch up the direction of the green. This is a really narrow green. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. So, they'll tap in. No damage done. Made the par. Frank, this is a really good way to finish out the front side here at Quail Hollow. 495-yard par four. Yeah, it's the longest par four at Quail Hollow. Um, some say it might be the toughest. I'm not quite in, in that camp. And the reason why, that green slopes in from both sides, the left and the right. But uh, you can see why good drivers have done well here, because it was a big reward for thumping a big, long, straight drive down here. And 
now it's right in his wheelhouse. Good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. This is a good looking shot. That is a beauty, a real beauty. Not a gimme, but well within his range. on these greens that is another birdie this is impressive just a superb performance on the front side he's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine frank the game is so much easier when you're swinging well putts are going in really you've just got to keep out of your own way pretty good drive here another straight one this is just a superb performance great round to this point frank and you can really see that reflected in his mood today yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Two short eagle attempt on the way. Locked in on the read and the speed. And really hitting on all cylinders now. Nine under for the tournament. Down to the par four 11. Frank, what do you think of this hole? It's an interesting hole, uh, Rich, and, I, and I'm curious to see how aggressive players will play here today. Um, the easy way, obviously, is just hit it down the right side and set up a nice second shot with a short iron. Or the most fun way is to take the big stick out and try and bite off as much of that corner as you choose. But be prepared to pay the price should it not come off. The green is up above, and this will play at least a club longer. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, I think the mark of a good golf course design changing directions. We go from a right to left hole, now at the 12th to a left to right hole. Yeah, there's no two holes at Quail Hollow that look the same. Um, and this one's slightly downhill, uh, fairway tilts a little bit to the right, and, and it's a bit of a sleeper. And plus you add in on top of that 450 yards plus, um, this is a fairway that has to be hit. Frank, they say you have to ride the wind where he got all of that one. Got every ounce out of the conditions. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Repetitive is often what sounds boring. This is just shot after shot, and it's anything other than that. Spectacular. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. 
you can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Now to the par three, 13th hole, Frank, this one 210 yards. Very, very good par three. This is actually a big green, it's 37 yards deep, but it actually plays small. Has a, a front right portion, there's a roll off area in the middle and there's a roll off area in the back. So don't be deceived by the size of the screen. You better be pitching that tee shot right bang in the middle. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on the easy birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Wow, Frank, this is a really good little par four, isn't it, the 14th? It is, and this is where one of those strong three woods comes in. Um, the last 50 or 60 yards is the ball kicks down and towards the left, and it sounds like an aggressive play, but like a hard three wood trying to run it down there is actually not a bad play. Is it drivable? It is drivable, but it's whether it's worth the risk. You've got it as a very accurate player. That shot says it all. There's a putt for Eagle. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Just a couple of feet. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Now at the par five, 15th hole, 577 yards. Frank, you remember what Rory McIlroy did here in 2010, that final round, 62? I certainly do, Rich. That was an amazing run on the second nine. And holes like this, too. He just stood up here with a driver and just obliterated it down there. With a nice draw, took those bunkers out of play and just set up a mid on. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Cut for Eagle coming up, and it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. How does that not go in? Amazing. Stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Can't wait to write those on the card. One below par. Chalk it up. It's a birdie. This is the start of what some say is the toughest finishing stretch on the PG Tour. It's known as the Green Mile. Frank, what makes it so challenging? Well, this hole in particular, Rich, the dog leg right, um, it means it plays every inch of it's just over 500 yards. That bunker you can see down the right, 325 yards to carry that. Um, if you can fly the ball that far, at least you can chew off two thirds of this hole, uh, and that is well required here. Otherwise, it's a long, long second shot. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Yeah. That would be a 
great look at birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here. Good job right there. Now making a move and setting himself up for who knows a good weekend run, maybe at another title. The former college standout has been excellent today. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. It's that sneaky distance. A little bit more hope than determination in that putt. As this one for par. Just playing great. 14 under already. Here we are, the 18th hole at Quail Hollow. Simply put, Frank, a player needs to hit maybe his best tee shot of the day. Uh, I would agree with you, Rich. If you were to measure this hole from trees on the left to trees on the right, it's actually a, a really wide fairway or expansive land. But that creek that just meanders its way through the middle of this hole completely changes the nature of this hole. And consequently, you get the nail on the head. If you don't hit a good tee shot, you will rack up something here. And I've got no idea how big it would be. Frank, what's the player need to watch out for here at 18? That false front doesn't finish till at least eight or nine yards on, Rich. And then you've got two different tiers. Plus, it's a narrow green. Um, club selection here is just so important. Seems to like it. All right, green. Eagle. What a display of shots. That's the incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. Just a little tap in here. Putting on a show, this tournament moves to 15 under par. Frank, you surprised to see that name on top of the leaderboard? I, I am surprised to see the name, but not that style of golf leading. Uh, it was great performance, especially tee to green. Um, you don't often see people start that quickly. All right, CPC Nars, uh, over and out. And also today is January 3rd, 2020. And I just want to say Corey Bryant is as he is for eternity, a legend. With all that being said, I just want to acknowledge all that. And CPC Nars, uh, over and out.